Welcome to the latest Z Code System video here on YouTube. Drew here, and it's good to have you with us. And today, as you can see here by my hat, my Edmonton Oilers hat, we're going to talk a little bit about the NHL and the upcoming 2020 2021 season uh, because it looks like it's ready to begin. Uh, at least tentatively, it is set to begin. Now, I woke up this morning here in the UK to a push notification on my mobile phone telling me that. Uh, the NHL and the NHL PA, the Players Association, had agreed that they will be ready to work together and put together a season. And I know I was very excited this morning, but now going through the day, uh, reading some other articles and some news around the internet, um, I'm not too uh, excited as I was when I woke up earlier this morning. And I'm sure if you've been following along, you know exactly why. And that is because there are some caveats this season that will be coming up. Now, let's go over a few of the things that we know already about this NHL season. And one of those things is that the tentative date for the puck being dropped for the first games is going to be January 13th. And that is not too far away. It's less than 30 days away that the NHL would begin the season. And we would not see any games in preparation no preseason games will be played for the by the nhl's teams to get to that point to get teams ready what we would see or what teams would be doing is play intra-squad scrimmages and perhaps games against each other behind closed doors uh, in practice scrimmage situations now that is one of the things that we know another thing that we know is that the nhl will put together a 56 game regular season and this regular season will be cut down from the typical 82 game regular season because, of course, we're starting very late this year. And the idea is to get as many games in as possible to lead up to the playoffs. Now, the playoffs would begin on May the 8th and that would continue. The playoffs, that is, would continue until early July when the Stanley Cup would be handed out to the winner of the finals. So the NHL season would be going through a bit of a sprint this year. Uh, something that I am very much in favor of uh, amongst my American sports. Um, I feel that the seasons are very much too long and uh, you know it's, it's just a marathon until we get to the playoffs uh, when we have more of a sprint to decide things. And I like that more condensed season. So for me, I kind of like it. Um, but so far right now, a 56 game season has been decided on. But the big problem right now, well, the big problem we'll get to in just a second, Earlier this, uh, well, back in November, that is, we here at Zico System we reported on the fact that the NHL was looking at an all-Canadian division for the upcoming season, and we saw that gather steam and become more of a talking point over the last few weeks um, and the last month, really, uh, since those initial rumors had come out. Now, the idea is right now to have the all-Canadian division, and according to um, well, according to uh, the way the playoffs would work, the NHL would see for the first time since 2018 with Winnipeg, the Winnipeg Jets, we would see a Canadian team make it to the semifinals, the final four, if you will, of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Now, that's if we have an all-Canadian division, which looks less and less likely at the moment. The NHL is currently working on this, but if you are familiar with Canada right now, the rules for um, movement with the pandemic, the restrictions, they are much stricter than they are in the USA right now. And there is uh, not a lot of um, willingness from the Canadian government, which is completely understandable, to allow teams to move from city to city, province to province, uh, even though those teams will be Canada-based they don't really want teams from Ontario going to Manitoba and from British Columbia to Alberta, et cetera, and so forth. So this could stop the all Canadian division from occurring this year. Um, again, like I said, the NHL is working on this. And as Gary Bettman said, there's a lot of hoops to uh, go through at the moment. And a lot of things that the NHL has to overcome just to get to the 13th to drop the puck. 
Um, the problem is that that is less than a month away and uh, the clock is really ticking right now on the NHL to get things going because we're seeing the NBA start up on the 22nd. That's on Tuesday night, um, the NBA getting that going. Now, if there is no all Canadian division, and again, that looks very, very much unlikely at the moment, the idea is that the teams in Canada would move for the season down to the U.S. and do one of two things, either take up residence in a uh, American city and play their home games there and obviously go city to city, uh, playing home and away, or the Canadian teams would uh, move into a central city and play it as a hub, just like the NHL did in the playoffs last year in Edmonton and Toronto. So we could see the hub return um, in this scenario. Now, again, things are trying to be um, worked out by the NHL and the Canadian governments. And, you know, of course, we do know that the NHL teams would be flying chartered flights. They would be staying in hotels. Uh, they would not be mixing and going out. And the only the only activity they'd really be doing is playing hockey. Uh, but again, there's right now an unwillingness of the government in Canada to allow this to happen with the restrictions that they have. Completely understandable. Uh, of course, the Toronto Blue Jays had played games last year in the USA uh, in Buffalo uh, was where they were playing most of their games. And we know that the Toronto Raptors are not going to be playing in Toronto this season in the NBA. They're going to be playing in Tampa, Florida. So that's what's going to be happening there. And um, I can't really see um, right now that all Canadian division, even though the circumstances are different than Major League Baseball and the NBA, because those leagues only had one team each from Canada. So other things that have been released, other information that has been released by the NHL uh, training camps for the seven teams that did not make the play in round last season and the playoffs uh, in August. Uh, those teams are going to be allowed to begin training camps on December the 31st. So they get a head start on training camps. Uh, the teams, the 24 teams that made the playoffs last season and the play uh, the play in round, uh, they will begin on January the 3rd. So they're only going to have 10 days to prepare for the upcoming season. Now, one of the things that uh, if you are a soccer fan, if you've been watching a lot of soccer going on in Europe this season, especially in England, because uh, there was a lack of teams having preparation this year and going between last season, the delayed last season and going into this season, um, there wasn't a lot of preseason games. It wasn't like it normally is. There have been a lot, a lot of injuries to the top teams because they're playing far more games than the, the weaker teams. Uh, they're playing far more games because they're playing in European competitions as well as the domestic competitions. A lot of muscle injuries um, have been happening throughout this season. And for example, the English Premier League is only in its, I think, third third month right now. And we're seeing teams with massive amounts of injuries. And that could uh, also happen in the NHL with very little prep time, even with players uh, preparing on their own um, at home right now as we get ready for the training camps to open. Now, as I said earlier, the regular season would end um, on around May 8th, with the playoffs beginning right after that. And the first week of July would see the Stanley Cup awarded to the finals winner. So uh, a lot of things going on right now with the NHL. And, you know, it, it's kind of an exciting, well, it is an exciting uh, time because I'm, I'm really ready for, for the NHL season to come back and watch, you know, try to watch a lot, uh, as much as I can, of the, uh, the KHL and the other leagues over here in Europe, the Swedish League. Uh, I get that um, on TV, so watch that a few times. Um, unfortunately, I don't really get into those games quite as much as I do um, the NHL. I love the NHL uh, ever since I really got into it back as a teenager in the 90s when um, a lot of the NHL teams were relocating from Canada or from northern parts of the U.S. and moving south. And um, that's when I really got into it. And um, I love the fast paced action of it and just um, everything that the NHL has to offer, especially compared to those European leagues where the ice is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit more of a technical game. It's not as um, fast paced and there's not a lot of fighting. Um, I'm checking either. So um, all things that I love about the NHL. Now, one last thing to note um, and going, this actually goes back to talking about the teams from Canada relocating potentially down to the U S uh, we're going to see the San Jose Sharks also relocating for this season because Santa Clara County, California has put a ban on events 
um, such as sporting events like um, the games for the Sharks and the San Francisco 49ers. So we're going to see the Sharks relocate for the season, play their games somewhere else outside of their normal area. But again, fans wouldn't be um, allowed into those games. Now, um, I'm not sure about fans being allowed into games. I haven't read anything about that at the moment. Um, I do know something that I reported on earlier this week with the NBA, the Orlando Magic uh, is a, is is allowing around 4,000 fans for their first five games of the season to come into the games, uh, to the arena. At least that's what was uh, reported earlier this week. So I'm not sure if the NHL will allow something similar or lay, leave it up to teams to decide. Um, there's you know two teams in Florida with uh, the Panthers and the and the Lightning, so they could be allowed uh, with their uh, rules in Florida. They could be allowed to um, have fans into the game. So a lot going on right now with the NHL and um, a lot of good things going on and the potential of the puck dropping on January 13th. So guys, thanks for watching here on YouTube, the Z Code System channel. And if you want to go over to the blog and read a little bit more about what's going on with the NHL and is the season ready to begin or not, um, go over there, zcodesystem.com backslash blog. You can read up on uh, everything I wrote about that. You can check out the uh, what to expect from the NBA season. And you can check out the video here on YouTube as well on our channel. Uh, I put some picks in for Saturday night's games, December the 19th. And we've also got the picks coming up for the December 20th game between the Chiefs and the Saints. And the video is up on YouTube. So guys, go over and check those out on Z Code System or here on YouTube if you're watching us from here. Uh, if this is your first time checking us out, I hope you liked it. Give us a like and subscribe here on the YouTube channel. And if this is your second, third, fourth, fifth time to come to the YouTube channel to check us out. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. Leave some comments. Give us a like and, uh, you know, hit subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you soon. And if we don't talk to you before next week, Merry Christmas. Bye.